going to talk about the uh, concept that I have of the Big Bang. Uh, this is an approximation of the Milne model, Arthur Edward Milne. The idea being that uh, at the beginning of the universe everything exploded outward at the speed of light and inside um, the uh, particles drift far apart but on the outside where uh, due to time dilation effects where uh, time moves slower and uh, length contraction where uh, space is uh, brought closer together um, the outer edge of the universe the particles do not spread as quickly so um, you get the uh, you get the sight that the uh, outside edge is tightly packed while the inside is nice and uh, spread out. Watch that a few times. All right, that's all. The space-time diagram for the Milne model is just a uh, sorry is just a V. Here's the the outside edge of it going this way and the outside edge of it going this way is uh, that thick outer surface of the universe. Now if you can imagine um, if uh, something was at the beginning of the universe just moving along the path right here then um, you would have and then it got struck by something and turned like to the right um, this is the perspective of the thing after after it gets struck. Uh, it would be moving straight upward in time. But before that, it would have been moving off to the left very, very quickly. So this is, from its perspective, very early in the universe. And then it gets struck and moves this way, straight up. Now, um, this would create an environment where if it looked to its left, it would look over here and see this cool area late in the universe. But if it looked to the right, it would see um, a somewhat earlier point in the universe, and it would be hotter there. Here we have the uh, COBE satellite image um, which detects the infrared light from different parts of the universe and you see that we can actually see a, a, a cool area and a hot area um, just this is the cool area that is closer to us in in our uh, in our reference frame and the hot area that's more distant from us on this sphere of the of the outside edge of the universe that we're looking at right here. This model that I was discussing is actually discovered a uh, long time ago by around 1930, 1932, 1935. It was uh, Milne was actually I think either Robertson or Walker's uh, teacher so um, the Friedman, Lemaitre, Robertson, Walker metric uh, came to the mil came from the Milne model. Uh, this uh, metric does not require the mass of the universe to be zero. It requires the mass of the universe to be infinite. Um, well, actually, either or, zero or infinite. But uh, Milne assumed the mass of the universe to be infinite, so he got out of that situation. This is What's especially interesting is the article says that in particular Milne's model makes no prediction of the cosmic microwave background radiation. The truth is that in his book Re Relativity, Gravitation, and World Structure Milne did actually predict the uh, cosmic background radiation right here. The particles near the boundary tend toward invisibility as seen by the, by the central observer and fade into a continuous background of finite intensity. This continuous background of finite intensity is what we currently see 
as the cosmic background radiation, a continuous background of finite intensity. Now he predicted this in 1935. Uh, Penzias and Wilson, uh, s after the uh, after the cosmic background radiation was discovered in 1965, Penzias and Wilson decided to claim this as their own, um, claim this as their own discovery, which they which they predicted after it was found.